Hello, welcome to Google Tools for Schools. In this tutorial, we'll create a Google site. Now, the purpose of this Google site will be to create an ePortfolio. First thing you want to do is open Google Chrome. Chrome's a preferred browser for any Google applications. Once that's open, you want to log into your Google Apps domain. Now, I've logged in already to mine. And up here, you'll see in the black menu bar an option for sites. You click on sites. And if you've created sites before, you will see a list of your sites that you already have. If you haven't, there'll be a large icon in the center of the screen, but you'll find a Create Sites um, button. You can start with a blank template, or you could browse from the template gallery. I generally suggest that people start with the blank. We can later add a template, but first thing you want to do is create the structure of your site and give it a very short name that relates to what the purpose of your port your site is. And in this case, we'll create a portfolio site. So again, I'm naming it a McCarth my portfolio, and we can once again select a simple theme, but I'm going to skip that for now. And more options, here we give it a category. Now in our school, students will create portfolios, and it, categories help others find different types of site in your Google Apps domain. So if you have math sites, you might name it math, language arts, other project sites. So categories are a useful thing to do. And I'm going to create, and here now I have a very uh, simple one-page website. And in, in the upper left, you will see the editor button, that little pencil, upper right, excuse me. The first thing I normally do is I'll go to Layouts, and I click on Layout, and here you have some options. Now, these layouts are really useful to for the design of your site and for organizing content. So I generally pick the two column, and you'll see I have one um, across the top box and two columns. Uh, equal size uh, in the, the center of the page. I'm going and then down below there's another um, box that will scan across the whole whole section of the page. So I'm going to hit save. The first steps you might want to do is create the pages you're going to need for your content. Now an ePortfolio is generally um, centered around different competencies and depending on if you're an educator or a student or what school you're at you might have different competencies to show the artifacts. In this case I'm going to create a page. We're, we're going to design pages around um, competencies for different content areas. So I might say I'm going to do math. So I'm going to make a math page. So here again uh, when you create a new page the editor opens up. First thing I do is I go to layout and I will change that. I could change it back later if I need to but I'm going to be consistent for now. Also, when you create a new page, two things happen. Add Files button shows up and also Comments. Now, depending on your site, you might not want to have an Add Files uh, link at the bottom. And you might not want Comments. If you want to get rid of that, you go to More and you go to your Page Settings. And you uncheck those two boxes. For a portfolio, I think I'm going to leave Allow Comments because I might want comments from, if I'm a student, from my teacher, or if I'm uh, an educator, I might want comments from my peers. So I'm going to leave Comments but get rid of Attachments. So here we are. And I'm going to make um, go back to Home. And I'm going to make one more page for now. Um, and that will be, say, it's a student. This is pretend this is a student portfolio. So it's Language Arts. And again, I'm going to leave it at the top level and create. And I'm going to once again make the, temp, the, the page layout two columns. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to get rid of page in page settings the attachments. And I'm going to save it. So here I have the basic structure for a portfolio site. Uh, with a language arts page that I can add artifacts to, artifacts to a math page, and my home page will be the introduction to others of who I am. And we'll do, we'll get to that in the next um, next step for creating sites with Google Tools for Schools.